Hey, even more new content for the version 9.3 daily race. Uh, this one, today's daily race is at Silverstone, but it's not with the Formula One. It is going to be with the car that you see here, the, the newly converted. These cars have been in the game for some time now, but uh, uh, the currency of choice has been transferred over from racing dollars and gold to now motorsport dollars and yes gold it is still going to cost gold to upgrade the gt4 cars but uh that's where we are anyway uh events wise we got autocross head to head and cup all at the silverstone grand prix as you would expect and gt4 category of course we have quite a few cars to choose from we got porsche 718 cayman gt4 club sport the bumblebee right aston martin vantage gt4 uh mine is fully maxed out because they offered us the upgrade discount not that long ago and the king of the hill chevy camaro gt4 r and another my second fully upgraded uh gt4 that's audi r8 lms gt4 and then we got the Beamer M4 GT4. And finally, but uh, not certainly not the least, this is um, the sort of the speedster of the gang here. Mercedes AMG GT4. I believe that's the, once you, like, at a given spec, I think it's the highest. You know what? Hang on just a second. Let's compare the, I can compare the stock specs without any upgrades from my other account. So, here's the, more or less, I mean, I have a couple of cars with the Tier 1 upgrades on board. And uh, uh, this will be a good point to point out that uh, how the upgrade cost has been now converted to motorsport dollars. Um, still same number of tiers of upgrades. So, it's not like they added more. The benefit of motorsport dollar upgrades is they take less time, right? Like, this one only takes 35 minutes, for example, breaks 30 minutes. So, that's a big benefit. And uh, as you go towards the higher tier upgrades, of course, you know, the uh, once again, upgrade time doesn't, like, go up to, like, two-day range. But instead, at most, it's maybe, like, three, four hours. Um, but... Uh, yeah, if you look at my Beamer, for example, here, I did put seven upgrades on, which was all racing dollar upgrades. And if you see here, tier two upgrades are uh, all going to be gold, as you might expect. So, yeah, so that's the story with this. But uh, I do want to say they did bring down the cost of upgrades. Uh, because these used to be more like, you know, like all 30 gold and above. Like engine upgrade used to be like 50 gold, but now it's down to 26. So, you know, compared to 50 and 46 gold, how uh, what it used to cost, you know, it's, they made it a little bit more um, affordable. But the downside is I believe they took away the gold rewards from the bonus series this car or the season this car is featured in so i don't think there is as much gold to be won don't quote me on that i don't know for sure um but anyway so there's the audi but uh yeah 272 top speed obviously more upgrades does help um on let's say beamer 264, 279. Once again, the Vantage does have some extra upgrades here. So, yeah. But anyway, so those are the cars featured here. I'm not going to be running through uh, any races here because on this account, I am already done. So, let's switch back to my other account and see if we can... Uh, do some racing here and check out how these cars, well, I mean, if you already own these cars, you already know how they handle. But uh, let's take them out for a spin, shall we? 
So 45.911 is the target time to beat for the Silverstone Grand Prix Autocross, which of course is the beginning sector, right? Like up through Luffield, I believe, is the run here. And the Mercedes here is the one with the least amount of grip in the group. So you just want to make sure you brake early, allow speed to come down far enough so the you can take the corner without skidding or even worse yet, go off track. But the question is, can we finish this? within next four seconds or so three four five and just got it under the time limit for gold trophy all right i was being a bit overly cautious though probably didn't need to be that cautious anyway so there's that And yeah, so uh, if the car is not fully maxed out, three upgrades across the board because these cars were all featured in uh, limited time series format. So of course, how you win the cars, you know, when they're new is three upgrades across the board. That formula has been in place for quite some time in the game. So Camaro has extra upgrades. Why? Good question. I don't remember why this one has more upgrades. It's not like it uh, doesn't look like I got an upgrade discount. But uh, maybe I use this to complete the season. That's a very good possibility. Because of the fact that this car has the highest base PR, you can reach the PR requirement of the 100% completion of the season this car is featured in, the GT4 season. Uh, with this car with less upgrades. I think that's the story behind this car having uh, four extra upgrades compared to, let's say, the likes of the others that's not been offered um, upgrade discount. So, uh, sure, uh, it's a head-to-head. -head. So here, let's take the Bumblebee out for a spin. And let's see what my opponent darkness will be driving by the way the Porsche this uh, you see here is also the car that's featured in the exhibition series so uh, it is basically offered as a loaner in the GT4 section and there used to be 10 gold to be one but obviously they replaced that currency with the motorsport dollars now so you will be winning motorsport dollar bonus not gold anymore so, all right, Vantage taking off. Of course, Darkness being one of the top tier flag bots, but you know what? It's a flag bot. Oh, look at that. We got drafting. That's cool. Always nice to see drafting working. Take the inside. Don't allow the inside. Okay. <laughs> Check out some different racing modes. I wouldn't take flat out from there. Not exactly, uh, you know, Formula One grip here, so I <laughs> have to be a little bit more uh, cautious. I drive a little bit more like a normal car, right? Although GT4 class does have some serious, I mean, it's definitely a race car. You know, they have a really, really solid grip. It's just that if you're coming out of uh, 
Formula One daily race mode, you will need to make some adjustments to your um, braking points. But anyway, so yeah, these cars, as I said, are not new to the game, but they are new in the daily race. So they're just introducing us more cars to uh, accumulate uh, or meet those uh, 250,000 motorsport dollar daily uh, cap, right? So giving us variety, but I still feel like, you know, I still am going to uh, Formula One. Sometimes I even go to the 2019 season Formula One because, you know, just doing the Monza runs there with a fully upgraded um, cut some uh, the Formula One car, cut some corners, like, you know, a couple of chicanes. You can finish a lap uh, in about like minute five seconds. So when you're doing nine laps, that takes, you know, a little bit over 10 minutes. And, uh, yeah, I just want to get through, like, you know, do 20 laps and then some, like, if you can pull, uh, do 25 laps there, that is essentially the 250,000 motorsport dollars, right? So, oh, hello, that car's apparently been driven <laughs> and has not been serviced. What do you know? Well, I mean, I completed the season and, you know, this car doesn't really stand out from the crowd of some Oh gosh, however many cars we have in the game now that, uh, yeah, I didn't bother. Anyway, does this car need to be serviced? Nope. All right, so this was the car recently used in a weekly time trial uh, without getting fully upgraded. Still the top contender for getting to at least, you know, top 1%, which was worth, of course, 100 gold. So let's... Uh, take this king of the hill Camaro out for spin on a couple of laps around Silverstone Grand Prix against uh, some opponents of the same class of course looks like we got a bunch of uh, advantages up front I see some Porsche and I, the white one probably is the Beamer and then yellow and green, of course, or yellow and blue is the Audi. Right. And the Vantage, you know, you would never mistake that for another. And uh, yeah, the Camaro has this kind of a grayish color, similar to the Audi, the alternative livery, that one, right? Ah, crowd. Alright, overtake on the outside, coming out through the village. Down Wellington Strait. And here's another Porsche. A couple of Porsches actually. There we go. Yeah, this guy definitely has the uh, solid, I'm out of the group as I said, I was referring to it as the king of the hill uh, because it does have the highest grip as well as the quickest acceleration so the highest PR when uh, you're putting on upgrades does reflect that looks like it ran even better than fully upgraded uh, Vantage GT4 certainly in the weekly time trial where was it at? Was it at Melbourne? Something like that? So maybe the track certainly uh, suited the, you know, high grip and quick acceleration more. Uh, we know it did because city circuits, right? Lots of narrow, curvy uh, street circuit. Yeah, you know how that goes. Anywho, P4, see all three up ahead, ah. come on, I'll overtake darkness, heading into Wellington, a rattle snack, and uh, maybe oral pod is another 
top tier bot. The flag bot. Whoa! No good. There we go. There we go. All right. Nice overtake, and yes, it is the oral pop. Of course it is. All right. Exit the chapel. Down the hangar straight. Can we overtake? I think so. Oh, this guy pushing really deep into the corner there. I was being cautious. Yeah, oral pod, living on the edge. What do you know? <laughs> and there we go. What a race. That was a fun one, I have to admit. Takes three minutes and 32 seconds and change. All right. For a couple of laps around Silverstone, you pick up 21,000, about 10,000 motorsport dollars per lap. You can think about it that way. Most circuits go about 10,000. You know, there are certain circuits that are slightly smaller, like Catalonia is a little bit shorter, so it pays out just under 10,000. And the uh, Red Bull Ring is another shorter circuit that pays closer to... Um, I know it's under 10,000. So those two circuits, and obviously, like... Uh, Marina Bay is shorter, uh, Monaco, we're talking, those are F, uh, Formula 1 circuits, of course. So those are a little bit shorter, but all the other circuits that's featured tend to run above uh, around 10 or more. The Monza is like a, sort of like a standard. That's about as close as 10,000 motorsport dollars per lap. Um, of course, if you're given uh, an opportunity to win the extra bonus fame, then the spa is the way to go. Because uh, per lap, it does have the highest payout, but also has the highest fame payout as well. Uh, especially if you have a Formula 1 Invitational running, you know. But anyway, check out this grid. As I was saying, King of the Hill, Chevy Camaro GT4R. And then we got a bunch of Vantage GT4s, Aston Martin. We got a, a Porsche sneaking in there and P4. Um, Audi R8 LMS GT4, Mercedes, Valiant Effort. Since that car is more on a slippery end of the spectrum here. Uh, P9 is next time we see a Camaro. And then more mixture. Uh, Beamer coming out in. 14th place, kind of dismal showing there, and another one at 18th place. So, anywho, I mean, they're just flag bots, so who cares, right? That's sometimes fun to kind of look through the ranks. But anyway, it does take a majority of the service bars, even though it was only two laps. So, except for Formula One cars, all the other cars, you're not going to be able to do like you know, multiple events of these types before needing service, just so you know. Unless they are fully upgraded, obviously, then you get double uh, service duration or the double uh, drive duration or double service bar. Yeah, you know what I mean. So anyway, so that is uh, new daily race content. Not necessarily new cars, but daily race content. So thanks for... Uh, joining me in this video and hopefully hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i uh, will catch you guys in the next video oh and look at that we got a free ad let's pick that up don't don't miss out on these opportunities those are golden literally <laughs> all right so we'll talk to you guys in the next video all right take care